Hey guys, it's Miss Carney here. I hope you're still doing okay. You might be thinking, where the heck is Miss Carney right now? Well, I'm actually doing my lessons from home. Just like you, I'm staying home a few extra weeks. And we're just going to make the best that we can out of our situations. Just because you're at home doesn't mean that learning stops. It doesn't mean that when we talk about music that we can't still have fun, learn new things, and join in together. So today, I have a really fun challenge. There's a really cool program that you can find online. It's called Kaboom Cups. And so for this activity, I want you to go around your house in your kitchen and find a plastic cup. It can be a small one, a big one, it doesn't really matter, but plastic is better. Please don't use glass. And if you're gonna do this at a table and there's other people at your house, which means we're gonna make some noise and maybe it would be bothersome or annoying to them, you might wanna get a little towel but you can also do this sitting on floor because carpet is really quiet. So I'm gonna give you a second to pause the video. You need a cup. And if you're gonna do this on a table, I would get a little bath towel, okay? So I'm gonna pause, ready? Do, 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 do. Well, are you back? Did you find everything that you need? Do you have a cup? My cup is pink because I love pink. I'm a girl, what can I say? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my towel out so I won't be too noisy in case anyone else around here is trying to get some work done. I'm just gonna set my cup here. You're gonna have some videos to follow along with. There's gonna be an instruction video that teaches you everything you need to know, and then the performance video, which has a really fun song with it. And today we've chosen the song I'm still standing. You probably know how it goes if you've ever seen the movie Sing. I'm still standing. You know how it goes. So what you're going to do is just follow along with those videos and learn some patterns. But before we do, let's talk about music. This is a little reminder that musical rhythms and patterns can be used to create almost any sounds and it can make things a lot more interesting. So the pattern I'm showing you right now is a pattern that has four quarter notes. One sound, one beat. One sound, one beat. And those are quarter notes. In class, we would read them like this. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Today, when you're watching that pattern video, the teaching one, listen for pattern one, because although you're doing different movements, you're going to be making one sound per beat, just like this one here. So let's practice it together. Can you read it twice with me without stopping? We're gonna do it twice. Ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. All right, pick up your cup. Let's do a little practice. Can you play that same pattern? Oh, it's probably gonna fall down. Maybe I can lean it up against something. Oh, let's use this. We'll keep it up. Can you tap that pattern on the top of your cup? Ready? Here we go. Ta, ta. about a down and up pattern. Same rhythm, but down and up. Ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. How'd you do? Can you come up with your own? Do something crazy, but it has to be one sound per beat, and we're going to do this pattern twice. So think of tapping other places, but can you play along with me? Be creative. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, ta. I just changed it up. Now, when you're following along today and you get to the second part, the second pattern you're going to learn, your rhythm's going to change. Does anybody remember what these little guys are called? Anybody? Is your brain on that little break that we've had, you know, all spring and summer out of school and you're like, um, it's okay, I'm here to help. These are called eighth notes. You're going to remember them from class. Eighth notes are two sounds sharing one beat. That's why they're connected together at the top. They have their cute little heads down here. Their stems that are going up and down, calling the plant. And then that bar across the top joins them together. They are sharing one beat. And you're gonna remember that we call them TT. So, I, did you giggle? I told you don't giggle. You know, it's just a sound. 
Well, when we read this pattern, we say ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Let's try it together. We're going to do it twice without stopping. Ready? Here we go. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Let's clap it. Ready? Here we go. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. What could we do using our cup? What if we put the titis on top and on the tas on our table? Let's try it. Got your cup? One, two, three, go. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Oh wait, that makes me think of a really famous rock and roll song. Do you know which one I'm thinking of? But you didn't know in that song, those people are going ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Well, it's true. Well, here's your challenge for today. Take your cup, follow along with the other videos, do your best, have fun. And at the end, if you'd like to, you can share with me you trying some of those patterns. You can do it with the song or you can just show me what you've learned. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. I miss you guys. Hope to see you soon.